Man, what's that terrible smell? It smells like something died down here. I think it's coming from this toolbox. Ah! The dreaded mange has infected these screwdrivers. The white leprous coating and the putrid smell are the telltale signs that the cellulose acetate butyrate handles have decomposed and have joined the undead. Can these tools be saved? Is there a cure for the dreaded mange? In a previous episode, I tested four viewer-recommended cures. I had some success removing the flaky white coating, but the vomit-like odor remained. In this sequel, I hope to conquer the mange and eliminate the odor, or at least send it into remission. Just like Dr. Jekyll developed a potion that would transform him into the evil hide and back again, I've found that household ammonia will transform a mangy screwdriver back to its normal appearance. The screwdriver's been soaking in the ammonia for 15 minutes. It's funny, it has the consistency of toothpaste. But I wouldn't recommend it. Alright, let's see how it looks. There's some tougher bits of mange that are still holding on. I'm going to give it another five minute soak. I left it soak another five minutes. I'm going to go rinse this off with some water. Here's the handle after the ammonia soak and scrub. It looks a lot better, but oh, still stinks. Steve McQueen discovered the blob's vulnerability to cold. I've discovered that the mange can be defeated with heat.
Here's the handle after the heat gun. Once again, it looks a lot better, but <sighs> still smells bad. Van Helsing had to resort to simple, crude manpower to drive the stake into Dracula's heart. I've found the mange can also be tamed by simple manpower. I'm using grade zero, fine steel wool. I spent just under 10 minutes cleaning this handle up. I used a steel wool. I used a brass brush to get these grooves down here. And I sharpened the end of this craft stick. And I used that to get these edges here in the fluting. It looks a lot better. Oh, but it does not smell better. The problem with these three methods is that none of them eliminate the disgusting odor and the translucent handles soon begin to cloud as the mange begins to reclaim its victims. Folklore claims the pungent odor of garlic can repel vampires. I decided to see if a strong but pleasant smelling aftershave could defeat the vomit stink of the mange. I went through my Avon car aftershave collection and I decided this one has the most potent scent. Yeah. And this is the handle that was soaked in the ammonia. <laughs> Smells pretty good now. The Winchesters often used iron to contain demons. I tried applying three coats of paste wax to ward off the mange. This is Minwax paste wax. And this is the handle I use the heat gun on. Boris Karloff's mummy was trapped in his sarcophagus for centuries until it was opened and he was released. I applied three coats of Rust-Oleum Gloss Clear to create a transparent sarcophagus to hopefully contain the mange. This is the handle I cleaned up with the steel wool. I've rescued these screwdrivers from the scourge of the dreaded mange. Or have I? Will the mange return? Will these screwdrivers descend once more into the realm of the undead? Only time will tell. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy Halloween!
Ugh, it's like a mange snow globe. 